Now this is a mod that I've never done before. Something new for me and I gotta kind of rig something up a little bit. My main motivation in getting this was to put it on the back and then mount because it's going to be visible, right? I mean, it's going to be right here mounted underneath the bed rack. You're going to be able to see it. And I well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I wanted to tell you about the next big mod that I have coming for the Toyota Tacoma back there. Now, this is a mod that I've never done before. Something new for me, and I got to kind of rig something up a little bit. Now, you may see this big box sitting back here, and if you watch the channel, that big box has been sitting back there since, I think, December. And that's because they were having some big sales, and uh, I wanted to get it while it was uh, at a really good price, particularly um, before I had the truck. So little did I know I was going to have it sitting here for like six months. I don't know. But anyway, it's going to be time to put that on back there pretty soon. And what it is, it is a bed rack. Um, and I'm going to put it on the Tacoma. And this is a 2020 TRD off-road, uh, in case you didn't know. And the bed rack, for anybody that's not familiar, goes back here on the bed. Now, what it's really designed for is, uh, is camping. You know, a lot of people will put a bed rack on and then they'll put some sort of a tent or something up above or hang a bunch of off-road stuff on it, you know, like uh, plates to get you out or maybe... Uh, um, a bigger jack or something like that, which I'll probably do. But my main motivation in getting this was to put it on the back and then mount the spare tire because I changed the tires and wheels on here, of course. They're now much bigger, uh, as you guys can see, are right down here. So obviously the spare that's underneath isn't gonna work real well. It's not as tall as the tires that I have on. I mean, it would work in a pinch if you drove real slow and didn't put it on the front, but it's certainly uh, not something you'd want to put on long term and drive any kind of distance at speed with. Not since it's smaller than the tires and the wheels, well, the tires particularly, that I have on the truck now. So what I'm thinking about doing, or what I am going to try to do anyway, is go ahead and put the bed rack uh, on the truck. And then initially I thought I would mount the spare tire uh, one that's the same size as what I have on there now, on top of the bed rack. But then I kind of changed my mind on that a little bit because recently when I took the truck back here in to be lifted, I put all four of the tires that I had before in it and they weigh about 82 pounds a piece. And I gotta say, manhandling those around was not fun and I could only imagine doing that if it was wet outside or cold or just nasty. It'd be kind of a pain to get that thing off of the top by hand, get it down to the ground, and then put the other one. Actually, I'd probably put the one I took off in the bed, but still not fun to do. So I thought, why not mount it under the bed rack and utilize the truck's little winch system, if you will. You know, underneath the truck is a winch or a, a hoist, whatever you want to call it. You know, where you stick the tool through the back of the truck and then you crank it around and it lowers the spare tire and then you put the other one on, crank it back up, and that's where you store it. So I thought, you know, I could probably take that device off of the truck, hopefully, mount it to the bed rack that I'm going to put on top, and then use the same system to raise that tire up underneath the bed rack so that I would still have room in the bed of the truck back here and not taking it up with a spare tire. You know, there are a lot of tire carriers out there that I've seen that people either mount in the bed and then put the spare tire on that or even off the back of the truck on the gate. But that just takes up room and on the gate, it just doesn't look right on a Tacoma to me. So I am going to try to take that assembly off the bottom of the truck and mount the spare tire underneath the rack and then hoist it up. Now, I wanted to go with the spare tire, like I said, that matches all the rest. There's really two reasons. One, so that it matches everything functionally and two, so that it matches everything else aesthetically, because it's gonna be visible, right? I mean, it's gonna be right here, mounted underneath the bed rack. You're gonna be able to see it, and I do care about the aesthetics of the truck. I mean, I want it to look as good as it can look. So I think uh, by putting one that's the same, and I may actually go with a different wheel because you're never gonna see the wheel unless you're standing up on top of the truck here looking down or something. 
And then maybe you'd see the wheel or if you're laying underneath the bed rack looking up at it. So there's really no reason to spend the money on the wheel because if I had a problem, I would have it repaired anyway and put the spare back on the tire or on the, uh, the bed rack. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm going to try to do. As far as weight goes, if anybody's thinking about that, you know, the bed racks are designed to hold, I think, usually somewhere between, I think, six and 800 pounds, something like that. So certainly a tire that weighs no more now, since I went with a little smaller than probably 50 or 60 pounds, is there going to be any issue with weight on that bed rack? I think it should be fine. My only concern is that I'm pulling down on it from underneath as opposed to sitting across the top of it. But I still don't really see any issue with that because we're not going overly heavy in mounting you know, the tire underneath. Anyway, I kind of wanted to go over that a little bit. That's gonna be an upcoming mod, something that I've been thinking about, how exactly I'm gonna do that. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of that idea. And if you know of anything out there that assuming the the unit that's underneath the truck doesn't work, that I could use to be able to, ra to raise and lower that tire, either with a chain or maybe strap or something like that, let me know. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out my other channel if you're into the Jeep Gladiator. It's all about my 2020 Gladiator. It is Rob Motion. And also, don't forget to click that notification bell on this video or on this channel or on both channels so that you don't miss uh, any new content when it comes out. Thanks for watching. Bye.